Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. So today we are playing a Brotherhood-esque character. So that means my stats. We've got 6 Strength, 4 Perception, 3 Endurance, 7 Intelligence for all the fancy laser stuff. 2 Agility, just for enough for Commando and then uh, 5 Luck. I feel like 5 Luck is sort of the standard for every build. Uh, once we're done this character all the way through, we'll do a video on it. I Before, I had a Charisma and Brotherhood at the same time. I think what we're going to do is do one at a time. And we'll see how that goes. So this will be played normally. Um, the only thing I won't do is I probably won't recruit the group in Concord. Because they, they kind of mess with my Sanctuary a lot. If I do another Charisma character, I'll grab them, but I think I'll leave them alone this time. Yeah, same as normal. I think we'll try to focus on lasers and automatics a lot. Lasers, autos, not a lot of um, sniping because my perception's not so high. To unlock my stuff, though. That's... Put that away and we can do that later. It's not something I want to do right now. I usually set up my base at a separate time, you know. And yes, I am using survival settings. So it's not like vanilla survival, it's advanced needs. Without all the not great stuff that comes with it. A tire iron will stay there forever, I think. Um, I'll grab my dog though. That, that that can happen for sure. Hey boy. Mark. Doing out here all by yourself. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. <laughs> okay then, let's stick together. Should we try and find him? Some glasses or something, or like those like welding glasses that the raiders give. We found something already. Got a smartphone. Oh, you found some cigarettes, did you? So I think we'll head to Concord right away. So I can get that perception bobblehead. Now I think we have... Yes. Oh, you guys missed that animation. You know, I think I should get enhanced camera for first person, so I'm actually playing it nowadays. I famously played in third person all the time, and only third person. Yeah, uh, Morrowind is kind of ruining me along with Oblivion. You know, those games that force you to play in third first, you really can't play very well in third. Up here, on the balcony. I've got a 
settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Laser musket. Even better than a laser musket. Uh-oh. Let's just leave them be for now. I have ammo for that yet, but we'll grab it. <laughs> likes, likes and dislikes. We haven't yet. You know the drill. It's so tiny now. Oh, I kind of like don't like that retexture. <laughs> They're so hard to see. The tape. The only mod I might actually get rid of is that uh, the duct tape retexture. So I've like retextured a lot of the junk in this game, but it's cool to see. But some of it's just like got turned small. Cause I usually see a mod and then I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool, right? But then seeing it in practice sometimes, not so much. I'm coming in there and I'm gonna skin oh, everyone! Like Hello? Hello? Okay, let's get our thing and out of get out of here. Nice. Man, I don't know who you are, but Excellent. your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. That's it? You're just gonna walk away. So I think if those guys are required later for storyline, then we'll do it. But I just don't want them in my base right now. They can be pretty annoying. that there for later I don't want to go home just yet but I might just use the power armor that you get from the Brotherhood to be honest upper Oh good, 9 millimeter. It's running low on those. So let's uh, actually level up. Uh, Adia Savannah is like the first one I always want to get. So we've got enough perception to get explosives, that's what I wanted. And strong back. Honestly, anything past here 
really doesn't matter unless you're going melee. I only went this far to get this and this. Perception, you don't really need anything unless you're going to actually go a sniper build. And you want enough here to get life giver. Charisma, it's all up to you, really. Like, if you get the bobblehead, you can get uh, Lone Wanderer. It, well, you have to spend one point to get the bobblehead. Bobblehead plus a point will give you Lone Wanderer. But um, I usually take Kate with me, so I'm not worried about it. And of course, intelligence, we got enough to go all the way up to here, which is important. Not this one, but that one. Technically, I probably could have lost a point and not gotten Chemist because I don't really care that much. But I think you actually need it for certain crafting items, so that's why I grabbed it. And then here, you, I'm not going to be sneaking at all ever. So it was kind of pointless for me to get anything else here. And 5 luck for Savette. You don't want more than that. Because the lower your intelligence, the greater the chance. Yeah. That would explain my choices anyway, you know. So I'm just going to... Where's that? Hold on. Where are those? So let's do something different. We're going to go straight this way. Usually I go that way. And then that way. Today is different. I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. I know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. You can't just put something pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich technically yes but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that so hey talk all you yes want, man. you put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread but it still ain't a sandwich well what the hell would you call it then disgusting that's what yes hey yeah You put anything between two pieces of bread and it, it is indeed a sandwich. Does not matter what anyone says. But if you put chicken in it, it's a chicken sandwich. Typically, my favorite is peanut butter and jam sandwiches. Then there's no argument to be had. It's just truth. You know what? I've never... Oh wait, have I gone over here before? This outhouse? Probably. It's just weird seeing it in daylight. Well, that rad roach is no longer a rad roach. It's like paste. Come on, dog. Straight for the city. Okay, so I have um, a new gun I want to try out. A uh, trail carbine. Oh, never mind. It's busted. <laughs> missing textures. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> Your dehydration worsens. Oh. Hey, wait, hold on. Why is it doing that? Okay, so I have a mod called Third Person ADS, but I think it's ADSing a little too much to the point where it's like um, Mass Effect. Yeah, it's like going Mass Effect mode on me. Sighted. Use this one. Let's 
better than it was before. It was like all the way. Sorry, that injection's kind of annoying. What the hell is that for? I get about two shots for vats. As opposed to my main character I played last year where I could get like 10, 12 shots. Having so much agility. All right, well, we're thirsty, so. Get ourselves topped up. Okay, uh, I think we need uh, medics so I can start making antibiotics. Wow, look at that uh, AP just drain having two agility. Oh my god. It's going to take some getting used to. I think Lexington's a nice place to start off. Never mow. No, never mow. Never know. We might even run into a trader or doctor. I don't think I have antibiotics. No. Oh, magazine. Oh, a lady had jet before she died. At least she went out happy. At least we can hope she was happy. No way I can pick this. Lock's really strong. Okay, I need lock picking. It's official. Come back here later. Come on, Doggo. Keep telling him we're running low on supplies. We need to take more risks. Caravans are that well guarded. Huh? Oh, they're up there. 